When you have a sandwich, do you like to cut it into two pieces or four? If it is cut into two, we say it is cut in half. If it is cut into four, we say it's cut into quarters. We are often cutting things in half for all different reasons. When Sally eats avocado, she cuts it in half like this. To make orange juice, mum cuts the orange in half like this, to squeeze it. If you are with a friend, it's good to go halves in special treats, like this chocolate bar. We can cut shapes into halves too. Here is a square. It has a line down the centre, cutting it in half. If we colour one side, we say that one half is coloured. We can write one half using words like this, one half, or using numbers like this, one half. This means that one part out of two parts is coloured. Now look at this shape. Here is a circle. One half is coloured. We can say that one part out of two parts is coloured. This is called a fraction. Last night we had pizza for dinner. There are four people in our family and we each wanted an equal share. Dad cut the pizza into quarters. It was fair for everyone and it tasted yummy. At Dylan's birthday party, his mum cut the birthday cake into quarters so that each child got an equal share. There were four children to eat the cake. Yum. Shapes can be cut into quarters too. Here is a rectangle. It has been cut into four equal parts. Each part is called a quarter. If one part is coloured in like this, then we say one quarter is coloured. We can write it using words. One quarter or numbers like this. This means one part out of every four parts is coloured. One over four is a fraction. When we use fractions, the number of parts there are is on the bottom. The number of parts coloured in is on the top. By now, I'm going to go and cut this ice cream bun in half to share with my friend. Because sharing is fun.